Friend from Indiana, Mr. Bashan. Is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Gu Guthrie. I rise today in support of H.R. 382, the Pandemic is Over Act. A public health emergency was first declared by Health and Human Services Secretary Alex Azar in January 2020. It was a different time. We knew little about the novel coronavirus that was overtaking the world. We didn't understand how it worked. We had no way to treat it or reduce the spread. Now, over three years later, the landscape has completely changed. Reliable vaccines, tests, and treatments are widely available. Businesses are open, Americans are traveling freely, and folks are ready and willing to get back to work. As I've said from the beginning, it's unlikely we will ever fully rid ourselves of coronavirus. But it can and indeed has become something we have the ability to deal with. Society can and should be returning to normal. Even President Biden acknowledged as much in an interview last September, more than four months ago, when he said the COVID-19 pandemic is over. Yet this administration has continued to extend the length of the public health emergency, using it to retain fear in the American people and to justify continued requests for federal funding. In absence of the administration's willingness to immediately, rightfully end the public health emergency declaration, it is time for Congress to act. I am grateful for my colleague, Mr. Gunthrie, for bringing this bill forward, and I urge all my colleagues to support a formal end to the public health emergency declaration. I yield back. 